Hello, people in Video Land. We're gonna open up a whole bunch of magic cards for you today. And by the end of it, hopefully we got a whole new deck from TCG Player. I kinda went nuts. Start you off with Slaughter Pack I picked up. That's not going in the deck, but sweet card. We got a pair of Angies coming at you in foil. Looking pretty nice. Too much glare. I think you can see me in there. Oh my goodness. Maybe you can see my messy room, but we want you to see the foil Angie. Two of those, that's not for the deck. We got behind those three Angies and a mind funeral. The mind funeral is for the deck. Why are you going out of focus if I'm keeping you at the same distance in the same shot? All you gotta do is focus. That's all you gotta do. Mind funerals are going in the deck. We got two more here for you. Slaughter pack. So that's package number one on this crazy TCG journey I'm taking with you right now. Let's see what else we got going on. Oh, this was the big order. Those vampires in there. So vampire spiked. This is not going in the deck. But we got four bloodline keepers, which is one of my favorite cards of all time. He makes vampires. And he flips and makes your vampires stronger and keeps making more, more vampires. Lord of the Lineage, the Bloodline Keeper. So all I got was four of those. I thought I got another card. Either way, four for seven bucks and three dollars shipping. And then they shot up to fourteen dollars like the next day. Super great deal, super great deal with that. So we got some Bloodline Keepers. Let's see what else we're gonna get going. Lord of the Lineage, this is just one of my favorite cards of all time. You want to keep him in focus because he's a flying 2 vampire that makes more vampires. Oh, we'll put him down for now. See what else we got in this package for you. Random, random cards. Try and get him out of here without causing too much of a ruckus. What do we got? Crypt. Why don't you want to focus? Crypt Incursion. Exile creatures from target player's library. You gain three life for each card exiled this way. This I could put in the deck. That probably could go in the deck. Jace's Erasure can go in the deck. Whenever you draw a card, you may have the target with the top card of his library and the thing. We're making the ultimate mill deck, people. Jace's Erasure. Oh, four or three Mesmonic Orbs are going in there. Two Archive Trap. So Archive Trap, if an opponent searches library this turn, you may pay zero rather than its mana cost. Player puts 13 cards of his library into his or her graveyard. This when people play the fetch lands out of control. Mesmic Orb, whenever a permanent becomes tapped, that permanent's controller puts the top card of his library into his or her graveyard. Crazy with the mill deck. Add some Jace's Erasures in there. Maybe some Crypt Incursions, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. What else we got going on? And again, by the end of this, we should be making a pretty sweet deck. And these cards I spent a few bucks on because A, it's going in the deck, and B, I'm specking a little bit. And why are we not looking at cards? We're looking at my fingers and weird art in the background. So, much time to open these cards. Four Visions of Beyond. Draw a card. If a crier has 20 cards at the graveyard, draw three. In the mill deck, this is an Ancestral Recall for $5. Draw one or draw three if they got 20 in the graveyard. Oh, how the beautiful mill deck is coming. Actually, I saw somebody play this on some Magic Tournament thing, and I'm like, that's the deck we are building. We are building that deck. I don't care who, what, when, how, where, making that happen. Now, I just want to get to these cards. I don't care about all this tape. Just get me to the cards, people. All right. How do we get to these cards? Oh, all right, there we go. I appreciate the overly complex packaging. Quicksilver elementals, regular ones. I think I needed a regular one. I'm actually building other commander decks too. Get that last horseshoe crab out of there. So, this is going for the uh, Cash the Experiment deck. We got a horseshoe crab. 
which will tap to untap, but you could use that to gain its abilities to untap other things with the uh, cash deck. Quicksilver Elemental is going in there, as learned from the Talarian Academy. Very cool card, another horseshoe. Mind Sculpt. Target player puts the top seven cards into his library. For the mill deck, it's a two cent version of the $30 card from Ravnica. That's the black and the blue that lets you do 10. Paranoid Delusions, target player puts the top three cards of his or library into his graveyard. Cypher, interesting. Maybe you can use that for the black and blue discard deck. Right of Precinct 6 gets one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards. Interesting. Throw that in the uh, mill deck. Should probably bust him out as like a 10 10 for like two mana. Crypt Incursion. Oh, you saw those before. Why am I picking up so many of those? Stormkirk Captain. Ah, uh, it's for the vampire. Actually, we're adding to our commander decks. We're doing other things. Now, any card that costs zero to cast, I'm specking on Mutanic Groats. I got like a bunch of them here. I mean, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At a 75 cent card, this thing is a free plus two, plus two instant. I figure also with things like Cypher, not Cypher, Cascade. Being able to cast more spells, this card's worth more than it is, even though it's a common. Hum of the Radax, four, each artifact spell costs one more to play for each artifact its controller controls. Interesting artifact hit over there. So we got those, that's more. Keep the party moving on for you with more Magic the Gathering cards coming at you. Let's see what you got here. Jace's Phantasm, for the mill deck, it's a five, five, if an opponent has 10 or more cards in his graveyard, which they should for one mana flying, even a 1-1 flying for one. But we got a couple of those. We got some Hedron Crabs. Landfall enters the battlefield under your control. Player to the top three cards of his or her library into their graveyard. Again, perfect for the mill deck. Do we have other cards going on here? Let's see. Should have some Jace's Phantasms and some Crabs. That should be about it. Let's see if we're missing anything else. Nope, bunch of phantasms, bunch of crabs. You got the idea. Let's see what else we got going. And our orders all day. Making this a 10 minute video. Hopefully we got all the cards we get to go through. This one, nicely packed. I like how the packaging is on this. Let's see the cards we got. Four archive traps. Is that my, uh, nope, that's not my foil one. I just like this card, the, uh, Little wizard guy over here that's not in focus. Oh, so for the cash deck, this lets you become a uh, ancestral recall for one mana with the untap. Both of the druids, very good stuff. Regal Force, ah, it was cheaper than he should have been. As was the Atmosphere Harvester. This guy just had good cards for sale. Speaking of the zero drops, spec in on some Galaxian probes, spec in on them. I think these are gonna go up in value. Got them for, I don't know, less than a buck each. And then the archive trap. One of these archive traps should be foil. Does this look like a foil? Neither of these look like a foil. So maybe I got a fifth one that's a foil. We got our archive traps, we got our other card. Archive trap, that mill deck that I saw that guy play was just absolutely freaking fabuloso. So I'm pretty much making, I'm making his deck, I'm not gonna lie. All right, this one looks complicated. We're gonna get into that one later. We may even say that for another video because we're hitting that 10 minute mark. Let's see what else we got here for you from the TCG player. Probably make this the last one. Oh no, this is from Mr. Is this TCG or eBay? I think this is TCG. So I bought out the Wanderwine Profits after the professor showed us that infinite combo on his video. First thing I did was buy However many of these I could find. I think I bought about a dozen of these. Eight from Dan Bach on eBay. And however many from this guy. Wanderwine, Profits. Oh, and then I bought some of my cards that I got from the other one that I was missing, but Relentless Assault. Shrine of Burning Rage just looked cool. It seemed like a very high, it sells a lot. And I didn't have it, so why not? And then a new island and a new swamp just to fill out the order. But we'll call that a day for these cards. We'll get into the other ones soon, guys. Hope everyone's having fun, collecting magic cards, spec in on some Wonder Wine profits. Why not? Trying to make some profit on the profits. But 
You're worried about the profits in your pockets, man. You forgot about the profits in the book. So go read some real literature and educate yourself. Stop worrying about magic cards. Everyone have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Be awesome. Peace.